bonus video time. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I just decided at very last minute that I'm going to film a very quick video on the Nordstrom anniversary sale. Specifically, I'm going to talk about the designer deals that they have going on. I'm going to share with you what I think is a good buy, what I think isn't, and a men's item that I think all the ladies sh should be jumping on. So if you are interested in my thoughts regarding the designer items of the Nordstrom anniversary sale, stay tuned. Also, a quick shout out to my friend and fellow YouTuber, Jen, aka Chicago Style Icon, who gave me that extra push and motivated me to film this quick video so that I can share with you my thoughts on the sale. So what I'm going to do, obviously I'm filming in my car right now. This is how last minute and impromptu this video is. I'm going to hop inside my house, get on the computer, and share my screen with you and show you what I think of the items on the sale as far as the designer pieces go. And I think it's gonna be a really fun, lighthearted, um, maybe funny video, depending on my commentary. I'm gonna try to be as you know, authentic and kind of uncensored as possible regarding the items and what I think are good and what I think are not so good. So hopefully you will join me and enjoy the video. All right, here is the women's designer section of the Nordstrom anniversary sale. Overall, I'm going to say that the clothing was all right. There were a couple standout pieces to me, which I will address, but for the most part, all the clothing was, I would say, meh or blah, as people would say these days. Um, for the price points, I felt like a lot of them were a been there, done that kind of look, or they were something that... I felt like you could find at a lower price point from a different brand. Um, but like I said, I will highlight the ones that I thought were particularly nice and perhaps worth the price point. Um, as far as accessories go, if you're into Michelle watches or have always wanted one, it looks like this would be a nice time to invest because the discount is pretty substantial. That's about 170 bucks or so, so that's pretty good. Personally, I never equate Nordstrom with real diamond gold or whatever kind of jewelry, so this doesn't work for me. I, I don't see the pull or the draw, but if you do, then you know you might want to look into that. Sunglasses. Now, the designer sunglasses have some nice solid discounts on them, and sunglasses don't really resell well, so if you decide you're over it after a season or two... Um, you will likely lose a nice chunk of the money you invested. So if you wanted a pair, now would be the time to do it because you can get them at a pretty substantial discount, as you can see here for the Dior um, here and there. Another nice Michelle watch here, if you're wanting black versus white and rose gold. Um, I honestly don't get what the deal is with this MCM brand. If anyone out there does, Hit me up in the comments below and let me know, but I've never understood the appeal of this brand. Honestly, I see this brand and I think Dooney and Burke, so I, I just don't get it. So I certainly cannot get behind their price point either. Another nice discounted pair of sunglasses, Versace there, Burberry here. This blouse looks nice. If it fits you like a glove and just accentuates all the positive and eliminates the negative, this could be a good purchase. Can't go wrong with a pair of classic aviators. Pretty solid discount for Oliver Peoples. Be a good time to buy some aviators. I really like this blazer. There was one similar to it above that didn't really catch my eye, but I think this little pop of red at the collar is, is nice and, and gives it a little more of a fresh, nice look, so I would look into that. More awesome sunglasses at really nice discounts. This cardigan just looks so frumpy. Um, I don't know, I don't get the one-off useless pocket here on the side. It just, I mean, you just don't look put together at all. I don't like it. Easy pass. More awesome sunglasses. This dress just doesn't even look good on her. I, I it does not even motivate me to look twice at it or consider it for myself. I'm, it's not my style anyway, but I, I just don't even think it's doing this poor model any justice, so I would stay away from that. I'm not, I just I 
can we just talk about the short flare? I don't get it. Saw it above with the other blue denim jeans. I'm, I don't understand. Awesome, awesome pairs of sunglasses here. Now these Fendi's are fun, but they're also very trendy. Um, even at the discount, yeah, it's a nice discount, but given the fact that they're so trendy, they could be here today and then gone tomorrow. So I don't know that I'd spend that even with the nice discount, just because you could probably find something cheaper um, that can satisfy that nice trendy sunglass desire in your life if you wanted it. More sunglasses. I think sunglasses, as far as the designer women's items go, was probably the best thing here. Love, love, love the look of this sweater. It looks like a big hug. Um, if you are in need of a cashmere sweater, this could be an amazing addition to your closet. I personally don't need a sweater that's cashmere. I have one, and that's more than enough for me because I tend to run hot. But if you're a cold person, look into that sweater. That looks amazing. The color of this dress is just beautiful, and... If you're looking for a red dress that is just so chic and classic, this is beautiful. Ooh, this cardigan is pretty. Look at that. Another nice cashmere cardigan. Beautiful. If you're in need, look at that one. That is gorgeous. Another sweater. Cashmere and wool this time. I like the color of this one, and I like the neckline. That's beautiful. This turtleneck looks promising, however, I don't know how I feel about the price. It would have to be a really special turtleneck. Nothing there. This blouse. This blouse looks like a nice, substantial, non-see-through white blouse. If you're in the market for one, going off the picture here, I would order it and or try it on in store. If you have that as an option, hopefully in person, it is exactly as it's pictured. It looks nice and legit and thick and non-see-through. Love it. Love this sweater. I love that open neckline. Look how flattering that is. Oh, love it. Love, love, love it. That's beautiful. This is very reminiscent of Chanel. I think it adds a nice break of color, I guess, even though it is white with the black it, it just it's nice and chic and she looks fabulous love that nothing here I mean this looks nice but it's still quite expensive um, I don't know it would have to be amazing this looks like something you would wear under a dress so I don't understand I, I don't see the correlation between that and the price, and I never liked Paisley, so easy pass for me. Anything else? If you're looking for a fun skirt, that certainly fits the bill. Anything else? Hmm. I like this. I like the colors of this cashmere jacket. The navy against this denim -y blue. I like that a lot. Price point's pretty steep, so it would have to be pretty amazing on. So, I don't know. I feel like I could probably find something that would be fitting this bill at a lower price point, but if this feels amazing, looks amazing on, then it may be worth it. Love this. Look at that dress. I mean, it would not work for me. It, it wouldn't suit me, but that looks really fun. I like that. That could be cute if you're in the market for a dress. I like that. Well, now we're nearing the plus size items, which I've noticed tend to be repeats of the regular in some cases. Anything that stands out? We didn't see this. Maybe it's sold out in the non-plus size. That's awesome. I like that. I like that zip-up cardigan. That looks really, really pretty. I feel like you could dress that up, dress it down. I like that. That's a nice cardigan. Mm. 
Ooh, and that blouse, the blouse that I was telling you about, that white one that looked substantial and non-see-through, great. It's available in plus size. That's excellent. Definitely something to keep in mind. All right, here is the men's designer section of the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale. We are dealing with about 110 less items relative to women. And if you recall, I had that little teaser of the men's item that the ladies should get. Here it is. The Ferragamo Reversible Leather Belt. $100 off. Really, how can you tell if a belt is made for a man or a woman? That's awesome. I would say if it fits you and doesn't look like you have too much extra leather when you buckle it into place, this would be an excellent purchase, male or female. The Ferragamo shoes seem to be a pretty good deal, so now might be the time to buy some dress shoes if you're interested. Like I said with the women, the MCM brand it just doesn't resonate with me, so it's not standing out to me. I do like this shoe. Pretty solid discount, almost 200 bucks. That's nice. I do like that. Look at that, yeah. Looks like shoes are a nice thing for, for men to take advantage of during the sale if you're in need of some dress shoes. That's beautiful. Look at that. That's a really sharp shoe. The tie is okay. Not wowed by it. More sunglasses and like it was with the women. They're great deals. Awesome, awesome. Love that. Love the black with the white trim at the bottom. That's been in for some time now and I'm still enjoying that, seeing that paired with either black pants or a denim, you know, jean pant with a nice top. You look absolutely fabulous. The ties are reasonable discount, about 70 bucks or so. Not too shabby, but I mean, I'm not wowed by them too much to be like, oh my gosh, get that, that's a great deal. And they look amazing, so I don't know. More sunglasses. Good discount, but I'm not feeling the look of that one. And another pair of sunglasses. Well, well, that was quick enough for the men compared to women, but yeah, the takeaway I would say from this page for the men is this belt. I mean, $100 off. It's reversible so you're going to get two different colors more than likely that is i think the sleeper of the sale on the designer front i i'm surprised to see that it's still in stock to be honest with you so that is that for the men and for the men and women designer part of the nordstrom anniversary sale i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below and ding the bell so that you are alerted to the next time i do upload a video thank you so much for sharing this quick online tour of the designer section of the nordstrom anniversary sale and i will see you in my next video bye